Austin, tell our art friends what we're going to draw today. A grandpa. Yeah, we're going to draw a cartoon grandpa. It's going to be really awesome. Mm -hmm. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you are too. You got something to draw with and some paper. Paper. Yeah, we always need paper, don't we? Paper. Yeah. <laughs> Also, we're first going to start by drawing our grandpa's head. We're going to draw a big circle right in the middle of our paper. And I'm going to draw him kind of big. Big grandpa head. Like this. You want me to help you or can you do it? I could do it. All right. Oh, it's awesome. It's huge. Perfect circle. Good job, dude. And it's okay that we have different sizes, right? Yeah. Because the most important thing is? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to? Practice. Practice. All right, should we keep going? Yeah. Okay. We're going to draw his face inside of this circle. So we're first going to draw two circles for his eyes, smaller circles. And we're going to draw them over here. We're going to draw one on the left side and one over here on the right side. Yeah. Good job. Now inside we're going to draw a smaller circle in the top right. And I'm going to draw an even smaller circle down here in the bottom. And you can draw them on either side. It's okay. We usually draw them on the left, don't we? And I'm going to draw another one down here at the bottom. You want to draw smaller ones? There you go. Good. Awesome. Now we're going to color in the big circle but leave these two little ones white. Now we're gonna draw his nose, and we're gonna draw an oval right in between his eyes. <laughs> Good, now we're gonna draw his mustache, and we're gonna draw a curve that goes under his nose. Yeah, and you could draw a little longer on each side. Good, yeah. And then we're gonna draw two lines that come down on each side. <laughs> I like your mustache. And then we're going to connect the bottom. It's like his mouth. <laughs> it does kind of look like his mouth. Now we're, we are going to draw his mouth underneath his mustache. We're going to draw a little oval, or a U shape. I said oval, U shape. There we go. And then let's color in his mouth. All right, now we're going to give this grandpa some cool glasses. We're going to draw another circle around his eye. And it's okay if you need to go over his mustache. I'm going to draw, look at that, big circle. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on the left side. Cool glasses. Two big circles. Yes. Now let's connect them with a curve over, a rainbow curve over his nose. All right, good job. Now we can also connect the side of his glasses to the side of his head. <laughs> Okay, now we should draw his ears. I'm going to draw a C shape over here and a backward C on the right side. Good. Now inside of these ears, let's draw another C shape, a smaller one in each side. <laughs> now sometimes grandpas are bald and sometimes they have a lot of hair. This one we're going to draw some hair just over his ears. And we're going to draw an upside down J. And we'll do the same thing over here on this side. <laughs> yeah, good job. He looks awesome. Now what's our grandpa missing? His body. Yeah, he's missing his body. I'm going to draw two lines coming out from his chin. So we'll draw one over here and then also one over here. Yeah. And then at the bottom, let's connect these two lines. For his waist. Yeah. Now we need to also draw his pants. Let's draw two more lines coming down further. They don't, you don't have to draw them long. You can draw them short if you want. There you go. And then let's connect those two lines also. Then we can draw a line right down the middle to split his legs. Yes. All right. Should we draw his shoes? Yeah. Okay. We're going to draw a little curve that comes around like this. For one shoe, and then another one for the other shoe. <laughs> All right, Austin, what should we draw next? What's he missing? His arms. Yeah, he's missing his arms. I'm going to draw a line that comes down and then curves into his body. And I drew it right below his waist. Yeah, and we could do the same thing on the other side. All right, and then we could draw a line right across his wrist for his sleeve on each side. Let's give him a collar and we're going to draw the letter W. We'll start over here 
We're going to draw a line. line. A long one. A really wide W. Go back up and down. And then connect over to the other side. Now we're almost done. We need to draw one last thing. Let's add two wrinkles on his forehead. I'm going to draw two little lines above his nose. <laughs> we did it. We finished drawing our grandpas. Yours turned out awesome. I love them. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah. This part we're going to fast forward, but you guys can pause it at the end to match the same color. Boston, you finished coloring your grandpa and he turned out awesome. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring or you guys can change your coloring any way you want. You can change his skin tone. You could even color his hair brown. Now you also could change the drawing too. You could draw him with more or less hair. You could even draw him without a mustache if you want. You can change him so that he matches your grandpa. Yeah, you could also draw a house in the background. Oh yeah, you could. You could draw a really cool house in the background. That would be way awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your grandpas. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, because we want to see how awesome it turned out.